We'll see whether Matthew can adjust to this now because his team still threatens quite a fair bit. What with the high power attackers? Mm. Well, I, I guess Matthew might not actually have been prepared for Jules in this round. It seems that he just chose to let with Damanitan and uh, Conkelda and Conkelda in the back. It's only out against uh, Jalison was possibly Whimsicott, which uh, didn't really do much. Let's see if any other way to overcome it. Mm, Thunderous, I guess. Maybe perhaps he'll opt to bring Thunderous now to help take care of uh, Jalison. A bit better. It'll be fascinating to see what these players do now, because it seems like it's very important for them, for this, for their teams to uh, depend on the lead strategy here. Yeah. It's always, always the case in the best of three format. We have to learn to adapt or to two different situations, and it's always useful to get to, to you have to adapt to the information you actually get from your previous games, and to help you win the next game and be mindful of the fact that the opponent has also get information about your team. Like uh, I, I don't think either player was really expecting uh, the kind of sets they saw on each other's Whimsicott. So given that Whimsicott is primarily a more supportive Pokemon, interesting to see that they're both running offensive oriented sets here. Perhaps it's just a direct consequence of Fumsicott being buffed with the fairy typing, but uh, I certainly wouldn't expect to see an uh, offensive Whimsicott if I were playing in any of the positions right now. The fact that both of them are using Whimsicott yeah. and both of them are top card players, I guess Whimsicott has been doing a fair bit of work for them today. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Okay, we s back into the game, we see Kit uh, sending out his Jellison and Whimsicott leads once again. While Matt opts to lead with Thunderous this time alongside the Manitan. Mm. Suddenly he has the time to adapt to uh, Kit's strategy of uh, Perhaps banking on Jellison a bit more, since uh, Thunderous is going to be, be able to fire off a really powerful electric type attack onto Jellison, uh, possibly securing the KO depending on what sets both of them are running. And while Damanitan should be able to make quick work of Whimsicott as well, so. Was a much more favorable position for Matt this game with uh, Thunderous on the field. Should be interesting to see how this turns out. I don't think Kit's Whimsicott really likes to be there at all. Yeah, seeing, it doesn't seem like... Up. It's not going to be able to do much to go... Especially since Thunderous Darian likes to carry HP Ice or HP Flying, which will hit the Whimsicott for super effective. Yep. And I don't think Whimsicott can really do much except for Moonblast. Yeah, but even then Moonblast probably isn't going to do too much to Thunderous since Whimsicott has a relatively low special attack stat. Well, enough to do enough work for Kit though. Okay, yep, we see Whimsicott protecting, wanting to avoid being taken out this turn, while... Ooh, Damanathan goes for a U-turn onto Jellison, which uh, is going to chunk, chip a little damage, well, and allowing Damanathan to switch out. Well, it wasn't what I was expecting here, honestly. Perhaps Matt predicted the protect from Whimsicott, since uh, Kit has a habit of prote protecting... And his own Whimsicott comes out to play, for the turn, and... Ooh, Jellison goes for a water spout. I'll speeding the thunderous Darian. The thunderous, suggesting it might it is probably choice scarfed. Doing quite a significant amount of damage there. Mm. So now 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 we do have official confirmation that both Damanitan and uh, Jellison are in fact scarf. Given that uh, given that how, how this the previous turn played out. So we can see that uh, Damanitan's scarf was actually really useful in letting it uh, fire off a U-turn before Jellison attacked, which probably reduced the amount of damage Water Spout did onto Thunderous Darian. Uh, probably would have done a bit more, just a bit more than half uh, if uh, u turn hadn't come off first. So, might be crucial, we'll see how it turns out later in the game. Uh, honestly, I think Matt's actually in a worse position now with Whimsicott on the field since uh, That's it, Whimsicott Matt, did lose his focus sash now. That's it's no it, Matt Thunderous is putting a lot of pressure on both of Kit's Pokemon, so... Indeed, we've seen that it fired off a hidden power, so... Uh, I mean, and from the health, it seems like Kit's Water Spout isn't enough to take out uh, yeah. Thunderous this turn. I have to wonder what item Thunderous is running now, though. If it's uh, Choice, this actually is quite a decent position for Kit since uh, no electric type attack is going to be hitting Jellison. So, Whimsicott is probably going to fire off an uh, Energy Ball, but still could be a lot worse for Kit. Oh, okay. You see Jellison retreating. Deciding not to take any chances. Switch us out for Escavalier. Uh, Escavalier coming back in. Definitely a good switch here since Escavalier is going to be able to, be able to absorb a lot of. Uh, he attacks Thunderous Therian and Whimsicott probably have. Oh, we see Kit going for the Tailwind again and uh, Matt Thunderous is revealed to not be choice. Energy Ball onto a Scavalier. Scavalier taking it uh, like a boss. Like a boss indeed. From, I believe it four times resists uh, from Energy Ball, so no surprise there. Mm. It's quite curious as to how this game is going right now because while Kit has given up, neither of his Pokemon are actually going to do a lot of damage to the Thunderous. Mm. So, 
Indeed, but we, we know as Cavalier is not is gonna be able to take pretty much anything, he's still controlling him, so. And as 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 I've used Scavalier a lot before and I, I can certainly testify that uh, fi just firing off Mega Horns often proves really useful. <laughs> Just even even though you, you don't really have a favorable time matchup, Megahorn is a really powerful move uh, coming from Scavalier, so it's probably going to be able to do quite a bit. Do you think and Kids Whimsicott will be able to do anything this turn to Thunderous? Mm, I mean, Moonblast. It is faster now, so perhaps we might see Moonblast being fired off. We'll see. Oh. Okay, nope. It switches out, and we see uh, Jemison coming, coming back, back in. on the field. Interesting. Guess he doesn't want to. Uh... Oh. Matt fires off Endeavor, but it's not going to do too much. Double targeting into a Scavio, hoping to knock it out, it and it kills. It does take out a Scavio. Oh, um, smart play by Matt there, trying to get, get, to get the kill on a Scavio, which was something he would have struggled to have done otherwise. Uh, Terrakia comes in. I think. Okay, Terrakia. Do you think that Kit sacrifices um, a Scavio in order to bring Terrakia in while Tilbin was still Unlikely. up? Unlikely. A Scavio would have been probably his best out here, so. Kid really needs a scavalier to take out uh Whimsicott, so probably the best best way for his his team to deal with Whimsicott. Quite a reliable one at that, but I guess he wasn't really expecting Endeavor and Thunderbolt to be able to get a kill. Okay. And we Whimsicott. see here that Matt uses protect on Whimsicott, try and stall out Tailwind perhaps or Yeah, yeah double protect in fact to stall out Tailwind. Okay, we see Jellison knocking its own ice beam and Terrakion going for the rock slide. Perhaps the obvious plays, but they would have been the best here. Though, since we know that Jellison is actually Scarf, uh, we perhaps Matt can adapt now knowing that uh, Jellison is locked in ice beam and sending something to take the ice beam for either of his Pokemon since both are actually weak to ice beam. Matt has been bringing Conkelder in for the past few battles, right? Indeed. Perhaps Conkelder would be a good switch up to absorb the ice beam since it doesn't really uh, mind taking an ice beam. Even then, it must. It, I, I, I don't think Jellison is going to do much with Ice Beam, even if it does get up a super. Because there's still Darmanitan at the back as well. Yeah, so. Jellison just has really low offensive uh, yeah. presence. So. In fact, that, that's the reason we are, we are seeing Jellison uh, use in this format is because there aren't really any other better water types. Unfortunately, well, there is always Seismic Toad or. Seismic Toad, basically, don't, don't <laughs> do the same. Raw power, I guess. Oh, as compared to Jellison's water spout, so. I expect not even get ice beam. I'm actually quite surprised that in this tournament we haven't actually seen the old fabled Saza Jelly. The Hydreigen. one with it, it was paired with Hydreigon, they pretty much it just surf spammed out. everything together. Okay, anyway. Zelda comes in to absorb the ice beam. Not doing much as expected. Well Terrakion fires off a rock slide. Probably gonna be enough to take up Thunderous right now, it is. Yep. And doing a bit of chip damage from the two Conkelda, which is uh, probably useful. Oh, okay, but Tio wins now. Wow. Out, though. It, I have to wonder whether it's really that crucial. And Darmanitan still sitting in the back. Oh, okay. That's... But Whimsicott coming out to play again. I guess Matt really wants to preserve his Darmanitan just uh, to, to clean up later on since. Uh, yeah, since Darmanitan's primary attacks and that, that, uh, Darmanitan's most useful attacks in the situation would uh, all be single target moves. Uh, I guess Matt wants to clean up as much of a kid's Pokemon as possible before sending in Darmanitan to do the rest of the work. Uh, players are looking intensely at their, screen, at their screens, considering the best moves they can. Okay, with. Uh, wonder how this is gonna turn out now, actually. Doomsicka probably has the upper hand again, uh, though it's gonna be vulnerable to Jellison's Ice Beam. You know, it's kind of scary how Whimsicott is like dominating the battle here. <laughs> I mean, it's like. Shows you the power of fairies. Yeah. It kid switches out his Jellison for uh, his own Whimsicott, while Terrakon actually. Ooh, ops to protect. I guess he wants to start what Matt's going to try to do now. Energy ball fired off onto Whimsicott, originally targeting the Jellison. Uh, we actually see it doing quite a surprisingly amount of damage, surprisingly high amount of damage despite uh, resisting it. Yes, shows you shows you how how how, how frail Whimsicott actually is despite it being a supporter's Pokemon. Uh, okay. Next Conkelder not exactly wanting to be here right now since a combination of uh, That's a Conkelder and, Conkel and Whimsicott team up on uh, on Terrakion would probably talk, take it out. Especially since the Conkelder has revealed Heart Punch already. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 
Well, I'm, I'm gonna assume that Kit's gonna try and knock, knock Conkelda out right now since, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, we see Matt switching out his Conkelda for Dalmanitan. Would be interesting to see how this turns out. Wow, Whimsy Cloud fires off a Moonblast onto Terrakion. Probably is gonna bring it down to really low health. Yep, it is. Uh, Moonblast fired off onto Dalmanitan. Probably Kit trying to get a kill on Conkelda earlier. That's which, a critical uh, hit. Critical hit with a special attack drop. Um. Critical hit might matter. See, Rock Slide fired off, fails to hit connect with Whimsicott, but is going to take out the money time. Again, the whole battle seems like it's going to boil down to the Whimsicott. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, right, we're left with... Oh, Conkelda. Not, not a very good position for Kid at all since Conkelda... Uh, Terrakion's now so low on health, so... Conkelda's just going to be able to knock it out with Nut Punch. You know, you're, you're, I'm actually don't think this match is going to come down to the Whimsicott since... Uh, See which Whimsicott yeah. does what... Kid's it's probably going to try to take out Terrakion right now, I mean uh, Conkelda right now since it is the biggest threat, so... Might actually just be a Whimsicott, Whimsicott uh, standoff <laughs> in a few turns. Then again, Kit still has um, one more Pokemon in the back. Shall listen indeed. Oh, and... Okay, we see Kit's Whimsicott going first. Moonblast, is and, it enough? It is enough. Oh, Conkelda's going down. <laughs> Whimsicott going for the energy ball, taking out Terrakion. Well, not very good match, not a very good position for Matt at all. I don't think he's gonna be able to come out of this uh, since he's gonna be able to fire off, be able to fire off Choice Scarf uh, Ice Beams right now. Yep, Jalison is out on the field. Uh, probably gonna fire off an Ice Beam while his kid's own Whimsicott is gonna go try Moonblast Matt's Whimsicott. Okay, Moonblast coming off onto Matt's Whimsicott. Interesting to see here how. Uh, <laughs> Oh, well that, well that pretty much seals the game for yep. Matt. Interesting to see that Whimsicott actually moved together with Jellison. Probably because Jell uh, Jellison is actually so slow that even the little choice card is a speed tie. <laughs> and we see okay. that Kit has taken the game. Yeah, Whimsicott stuff. Kit takes uh, the th third match, so that's it. Kit moves on to the finals. Uh, typical, typical, uh, typical best of three match here actually since. Uh, after watching after watching uh, Matt's team in game one, Kit was able to adjust his own strategy and oh no, perhaps not come up with a uh, better strategy and take the next two games. So.